Hey there, everybody. Welcome back with the Plapper Platypus with the name. Welcome to a Therese unit review. Now, really quick, before we get uh, too deep into it, I just want to say that I will uh, not be showing you like the animations and stuff like I did for Primrose because I personally don't have this character and I won't be pulling on them. Now, I hope that doesn't spoil the review too much, but this is mostly going to be, uh, you know, it, it, whatever. I just want to let you know this is basically going to be a thought experiment. I got to start saving for some of these original eight because those are the ones that are the big money in terms of, uh, I think in terms of content, probably in terms of the actual gameplay, but also like people like seeing Ulbrich and Alfin and Cyrus, right? People want to see these characters more uh, on my accounts, I think, than um, the support cast. But without further ado, let's jump into it. And um, I think I'm going to jump in actually um, with the passives first why i don't know let's just mix it up so i think the strongest thing about this character these is both these passives are fucking sick man start a battle and part self with elemental attack up 30 percent what isn't that literally the highest it gets and then you can get 30 percent with equipment i th i think that's how it works now i could be wrong but i i need to kind of learn the buff and debuff thing i haven't been messing with it too much because i don't have lynette um so I haven't really buffed my team that much. I've been mostly debuffing enemies. Um, and debuffing enemies doesn't seem to stack. So, um, But a parcel with elements will tack up 30%. I think you can get equipment on top of this. But still, 30% fucking huge. And raise lightning damage of self by 30%. This is on the first three turns of combat. This lady fucking slaps. I mean, I, I wouldn't be surprised if she's stronger than Sophia. Um, based off just this alone it, it, it's debatable though i don't i haven't used sophia um but i mean this has got to be a trash farming machine right like anything that if she's a higher level than she must just like one tap with her with this huge damage boost um and if not her then you have a second character go and cleans up but i think these passes are very good obviously this defines her role as a dedicated damage dealer there's gonna be there's these passives don't support anything else other than dealing damage and ideally dealing damage quickly so less good not bad but less good in boss fights as this elemental attack boost will wear off usually before you have a chance to break the enemy but you might be able to if you uh break the enemy on turn two at some point you might be able to get a full bp attack on turn three with her so that could be worth it as well all right, lightning bolt single 170 damage <laughs> boring not bad but she does have this analyze all making her the strongest character with analyze all however paradier still does that passively at the start of combat so if you're fighting an elite you can still go in run go in run go and run without ever actually having to waste a turn analyzing however having a really powerful character with good damage um paradier is not a very powerful character with good damage he's like an okay character with like average at best damage but so having analyze on someone else it, it, it can be good i think paradigm's passive is really the standout of the analyze thing but this is still uh viable here um you don't want to be using her bp though on this right as a damage dealer you 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 might but this is like a backup to a backup plan i feel like um you would typically like to find out the weaknesses in another way uh lightning bolt elemental damage to all foes 150 <laughs> boring single hit low potency not like super low potency but it's like sing you want higher potency if it's going to be a single hit physical do home damage to an enemy twice i mean that's like whatever it's kind of nice to have it's if it was like triple or quad that would be pretty sick but double is like you could find that everywhere um elemental lightning damage to all foes two times this is pretty good so this is 160 potency so it's already better than lightning bolt um, in terms of potency and it attacks twice and it's only five more sp like this ability is way better than that shitty ability um i like this and then she also has lightning blast single single foe two times potency 90 so this is 180 potency that also beats their lightning bolt so lightning blast is just a pure upgrade then you get lightning bolt three why why have lightning blast and lightning bolt three right next to each other deal elemental lightning damage to a single foe two times at a potency of 90 or deal elemental lightning damage to all foes with a potency of 180 i mean it's like it's like whatever i guess but it's like you're losing a little bit of potency aoe like 20 potency to hit an enemy once but if you want to hit an enemy once why wouldn't you use lightning blast single 
or you know if you want to hit i don't know it just like lightning bolt all seems like shit. like it seems so redundant with these other two abilities that i'll almost always want to use first the only time i want to use lightning bolt all is if i break two enemies or more in a turn and they're and I really want to do slightly more damage to both of them or, you know, to all of them. This will do a little bit more damage, but it's like niche because every other time I'm going to be using lightning bass, lightning blasts. So I don't like that. Shocking slam uh, deal tone damage to all foes 150. This is I mean, that's pretty good potency. I mean, her physical attacks probably shit. I mean, you see it at 226 right there. I don't know what those attributes are because that must be no gear. So it's kind of hard to tell, but that, that's got to be low physical attack. Lower lightning resist by 15%. I mean, this is like, I don't know when I'm going to be using this because if they're weak to lightning, I'm going to be using lightning. If they're not weak to lightning, I don't know if I want to be using this character, but if I, if they're not weak to lightning, but you just want a really heavy damage dealer, um, maybe they're weak to tome. You could do this, lower their lightning resist, use this two, three times. And then when they're broken, use all your BP on something like this next ability here, deal elemental lightning damage to all foes three times. So this is 150 plus 15 165 potency i mean so the fact that it's all foes and three times makes it good but still you're going to be using this lightning blast with a potency of 180 almost every time now maybe at max bp this kind of switches maybe this gets maybe this scales faster due to three hits um i'm a little skeptical i i think that lightning blast single is still probably going to be your highest hit with a 180 potency so the potency is not insane it's not bad it's good but it's not like insane um but I really think that it is going to be pushed above like her. I think her abilities are like not lackluster, but I think they're just like a little OK, like they're they're like just fine. You know, they're good, but they're just like like you'd be like, oh, man, these, this four star is insane. But on a five star, I'm like, yeah, I was like when I'm comparing it to units like Primrose, I, I'm not I'm less impressed initially by looking at it. But I do think this character is probably pushed above what their skills are because of these passives being so powerful. Um, and as for awakenings, like we all know what these things are, um, but, uh, her accessory is actually maybe my favorite accessory so far, lower lightning resist of all enemies at the battle start for three turns. And when you break an enemy, lower their lightning resist by 15%. This doesn't when breaking an enemy. I don't know if this specifically means when she breaks an enemy or when an enemy gets broken while this character's on your team. I assume it has to be this specific character, but I mean, Obviously, if something's weak to lightning, you lower the lightning resist more. You break them with your triple lightning attack. And then because if you like this is worse, if you specifically have to be the one to break it, because that means if another character goes before you in the turn and breaks the character, you won't get the bonus. But I'm hoping this means if and if you're, you're like in the front row and any one of the front row breaks it, you get the lightning resist. But if it's not still getting another 15%. Um, I don't it, it probably doesn't stack. It probably doesn't go up to 30%, right? It probably just adds duration to the 15%. But still, I mean, that means every time you break them, if they're weak to lightning, you don't need to spend a turn debuffing their lightning. Like even Primrose has to spend a turn debuffing the the darkness weakness, right? Um, the darkness resistance. So she doesn't have to do that with the I mean, it's an accessory, though. Obviously, I'm sure I mean, these accessories are nuts because they're they're whale payoffs, essentially, or long period of time payoffs. But really, I don't have that much more to say about the unit. I think this unit is an easy pass, if I'm being completely honest. Not because this unit is bad, but just because, like, there we know that there's some crazy stuff coming out soon. You know, we got Cyrus. We got, I mean, Cyrus might be, it would make sense thematically to put Cyrus out around her because they're connected characters. But I don't think it would make sense in a meta regard because there's um, this a scholar into a scholar. Um, but you know, like Alfin, Albrick, like we know the original eight are all coming and they're all going to, you know, if you want to hit pity, if you want to get them, uh, you're going to need a fuck ton of gems. So this is a character that even though is cool and we know the, the, um, the crossovers are coming out near, uh, you know, the, the two S's and B's and the, the, the three A's, we know that they're all coming out. So, um, it's just, I, even though this character is cool and it's good. This once this character is in the general pool, I will love to pull this character. Absolutely. This is a great character for the general pool and better than several of the characters probably in the general pool already. Um, but I think it's just an easy pass right now. I think this is this is a perfect uh, example of a quote unquote trap banner, a character that is good, but not good enough to spend your gems on right now. Um, this is kind of a whale territory, I think. I think you want to save for the big shit. Anyway, that's all I have to say today. Sorry, Therese. I actually really like your kit. I like a lot about you. 
Um, but I just don't think it's the time for you right now. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for Platypus is per Platypus. I will see you in the next video. Bye.